Welcome to another lecture, Uses, Stories, Examples, and Template. Now let's dive into one of the main Agile and Scrum techniques of expressing requirements, the user story. In the resource section, you can find this template in Microsoft Word. In this lesson, I'm going to outline what a user story is, why we need them, and how to recognize what makes a good user story. We will end off by analyzing some user stories to learn how we can improve upon them. So, what is a user story? A user story is just a simple way of expressing requirements, and we have already talked about the use cases, wireframes, and storyboards. And those were the first techniques covered in this course for expressing requirements. A user story is another way of doing the same thing. User stories are meant to keep all of requirements of your system in a consistent format. They are easy to write, easy to read, and easy to evaluate. User stories follow a very specific format. As a blank, I want to blank, so that blank. So the first blank signifies the stakeholder role for, for whom the requirement is being formed. You might use the words like administrator or guest user. In our example of restaurant menu application, the stakeholders are customers and the kitchen staff. So these don't have to be specific people you have in mind, just a general audience for the requirements. And this helps to narrow down who the requirement is meant to support. It specified the who of the requirement. The stated requirement is written as a form of stakeholders' point of view. Now, the second blank signifies the task or function the stakeholder wants to resolve using the product. This is the meat of, of the requirement and is usually what people think of the most when they think requirement. This part specified what of your requirement. And here are some examples, a specific task desired for a restaurant application. I want to browse the menu for restaurant that I'm in. I want to see the kids menu or I want to view receive orders. All of these are examples of specific functions used by stakeholders. And finally blank of the user story specify why the user story is needed in the first place. This is often skipped when the user stories are created, but it offers a key insight into their requirement. It gives the context to the requirement about the value or benefit it offers, which aligns with the product's goal or vision. This part specified why of the requirement. So a full story, full user's story might look like as a child customer, I want to see the kids menu so that I see what meals and games interested me. So do you see how this comes together as a one whole? Now let me give you another example of how user stories are structured. Let's say that you are working on a mobile game project with your client. And they give you the requirement, I want to be able to control my characters using the arrow keys. So how would you structure this requirement to fit the form of a user story? So think for a second, and then please use the user story template to write a proper user story. Okay, you can pause this course, of course. And this is what it's supposed to look like in the user story. As a gamer, I want to be able to control my characters using a directional input method so that I can navigate the game world. Now, this user story fits the form as a blank. I want a blank so that blank. And notice that this user story is more general in describing the input device. So the focus to focus on actual need and not particular solution. Now compare this to a common way in which our requirements are expressed. And oftentimes you will see requirements expressed using vague language without much in the way of this description. And you will see requirements like first things first, I'm say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up. Well, the user 
should be able to see a kid's menu. Having seen the way user stories are created, does it make sense why they are structured the way they are? They bring a lot of clarity to requirements. Without, without bugging it down it in technical details, you can get, you get the who, the what, and why all in one neat little package. As a bonus to having a short, concise user stories like this, you can easily write them down to keep tracking them. User stories were designed to be compact enough to fit on an index card or sticky notes, just like this one. And this way, all the user stories could be laid out and organized in a very visual, physical and informative way. By having the stories on index cards, they can be easily clumped into related groups and reorganized when the requirements inevitably change. Oh, no.